PvP Super Friends as the blue team starting up north. Their opponents, you are dead as the yellow side down to the south. Almost identical tank lineups as well here. The only tank being different is on the PvP side, they do go with an extra T69, whereas the UR dead side go with an extra AMX 13. So, that's almost, yeah, almost identical here. Oh, look at Soldier Boo with a very, very aggressive position here. Almost trying to make it to that hilltop area, and he does not get taken out as well. So, you know, nice job by him. He will be able to kind of not secure this position, but at least get vision for his team. Well, I mean, like, he, he spotted pretty much everyone yeah, yeah. out there, and now he's retreating. But interesting to uh, see you are dead relinquishing the hilltop. Yeah, that's actually, I was not expecting that. I mean, all five of the PvP Tier 8 tanks were, like, trying to go to that hilltop area, maybe looking for some sort of, like, you know, hill, kind of hill area engagement, but... You're they, do have the extra, they, they do have the extra, extra TCC9, yeah, so yeah, kind yeah. of banking on that, but... Well, they're obviously repositioning as we speak because they saw UAD uh, did not take that bet. Uh, yeah. So. yeah. So we're probably going to see a little bit of a scam. Oh, a little, oh like wow. A huge shot I already. Think I, I couldn't see where that shot was fired from. But I think that was, there were two shots. I mean, like 500 damage. That can't the, be a single shot. Yeah, it might have been actually. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it might have been two shots there. Maybe even from like those AMX-13s. Yeah, yeah, even yeah. maybe over there to the Western Isle. I, I'm, I'm thinking that's, it that's came from the uh, West Isle because that's, that's about the only angle you're going to get. The oh, thing is, yeah, I guess because UR didn't commit to, you know, to the hilltop area. So I'm guessing that those AMX-13s have split up. And yeah, we're taking a look at their position right now. I, yeah, I'm proud. It was probably Onion Head there yeah, uh, yeah. over there to the Western Isle. And yeah, much more kind of defensive spread out maneuver. And actually, now that PP have repositioned, both teams just yeah very passive here. Well, I mean, PP are just taking a having a crack at the eastern village now, uh, so to speak. They're like they realize the western isle is just pretty much compromised, uh, so they're trying to go east. And yeah, they take out the first T1. They have been spotted there. Um, UED is most definitely going to react to that. I have no doubt about it. Well, almost all of their tanks are moving over there right now. They are all transitioning to this eastern part of the map right now. Well, except for I that one MX-50 up yeah, north, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Mac who, who took uh, two shots, like yeah, everybody's... Uh, and Anuto who's still like towards the uh, the center, the center hilltop. There. Otherwise, like, yeah, it's pretty much uh, monopolizing the eastern village when it comes to PvP. We don't have like a vision onto the UAD tanks at the moment, so I'm actually curious as to how they're going to respond to this. I don't even know if they, uh, they might have, I think they spotted like one, yeah, they, they know where that, where I mean, the T1 was taken down, yeah, so yeah, yeah, uh, they yeah. definitely know there's something going on over there, but... I, uh, I don't know if they actually know that all the, or most of the tanks are over here right now, actually we do see Batman repositioning as well, so, uh, the thing is, I, I, even though it looks like PvP are, you know, getting ready for a push, I, I still think that it's gonna be a little bit, uh, of, of time before they're actually comfortable with this. I mean, look with Nomi, with just a... Just a, a position that does not allow any of the PvP mo uh, members to just go over to the eastern edge. I mean, the thing is, the second they come out, they just get spotted and shot. Could we have here? And it's 1390, so the second one was covering that eastern front. So, uh, oh, and now we can see just uh, PvP pushing a tank up uh, the hilltop. But you know what? See, that, that's the thing. UAD have forsaken the hilltop. Uh, so, all their maneuvers right now are. I'm not going to say useless, but uh, UED is not willing to engage this fight um, in the center. So uh, basically, it's pretty smart from UED actually. They got one 1390 just covering the eastern front, and pretty much everybody else is just more focused towards the uh, western isle. Uh, so uh, it's, well, pretty much it's a pretty solid like defensive setup coming from UED. It's not really allowing PP to engage comfortably here. I agree with you here, yeah. Neither team really having any open. It's just, uh, we, we do see yeah, Batman still trying to get some more vision for his team. But the thing is, yeah, because, uh, I, I think just because PvP's friends cannot spot the UR Dead members, they're just very, very, very unsure about this push. I mean, they know they're, I mean, they have a general idea of where these UR Dead tanks are, but the thing is, I mean, they, they literally just don't know where, or at least exactly where, at least four of those UR Dead tanks are. Well, so. and besides, the only way to find out is to poke uh, your nose out exactly, and you do exactly, get shot. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, just a PP with not a whole lot of options here. Uh, they do own most of this map, but it's a still, I mean, look at that. Another shot landing here is just, this is very, very just, it's almost cruel uh, coming from UAD. They've got an excellent, excellent positioning. They're just completely neutralizing PP here. Yeah, they have spotted uh, yeah, Onion Head and Oh, and look at that, just yeah, Onion Head just going ahead here, just he has to be careful there. 
Right, okay, if they can Second get Onion one. Head, if they can get some damage on the Onion Head, I mean, it'll, it'll be fine because, yeah, both Batman and Little Mac here already took a couple shots, so uh, they have to at least start trying to retaliate. God Cow 1 did take a shot as well. T1s, though. Uh, okay, yeah, they did side. get... Uh, yeah, so I guess the two T1s are actually a pretty very nice pickup. Uh, God Cow 1 took about, like, 450 damage here, oh, so, wow. uh, yeah, okay. just uh, uh, some retaliation being done. Like, we're dead even, seriously. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. just dead even at this point. Yeah, actually, we do see PvP once again slightly repositioning here. Actually, you are not also repositioning, so uh, they're kind of, I think, more focused now here to the hilltop area. It's it's kind of it's kind of funny how they actually just sneaked on top of the hill, yeah, like uh, while <laughs> PvP were just like you know actually like you know the the onion head to the west was just a bait pretty oh, much. Oh, Little Mac is taking a lot of damage though. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, Onion Head was just a bait, uh, so that all the PP members relinquished the hill mm. to defend what they thought was a push and then meanwhile all the UED members just pushed on the, the hill so yeah, yeah. it's it's sneaky but it's well done it's yeah. very well done actually yeah, the thing is I, I, I guess mean, look at the, the map control right like yeah it's just the, 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 the positions have been reversed now uh, UED is owning the hill at this point that careful not to get kind of surrounded here. I mean, oh, Batman, oh, Batman might go down. A huge shot. I mean, see, that's the thing. Just now oh, they've got wow. the elevated spot as well, and the 1390 goes down like here. Batman went down. Yeah, the thing is, uh, you know, you are dead now with control of the hilltop. They can come out uh, from the sides of these PvP members. So that uh, PvP is not just not playing uh, good careful enough is being here. Hunted here. He's being hunted. He's being hunted. Yeah, he might be reloading as well. Yeah, yeah he's, he's going to go down. Yeah, he's, he's going to go yeah, down. he's going to go down here. Ace Rooter finishing him off. We are completely well tied done. up once again yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and Nomi in danger now too. Yep. He's probably going to go down. One more might do it. Oh, they, I think they both have the reload at this point. And yeah, look at that. Oh, he's coming in here. Mini yeah, Chun. Mini Chun here just coming for support. This is brilliant. Once oh, again. same with that Pershing. So, yep. Anato is going to go down here. Yeah, he's definitely going to go down. Unless Ace Wooter can somehow reload, like, right uh, now. He just went down. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, okay, finally, yeah, Antares coming we in. Do trade. Yeah, yeah. We do trade. We're dead even because both T1s went down on the oh, uh, wow. on the PP side as well. Oh, Legacy Janna is in big trouble here. Yeah, he's, he's going to go down. Yep, yep, he's going to go down here. Uh, yeah, big advantage now in favor of the PvP yep, side. Yeah, very well done. Yeah, very, Antares very well done. and Ace Wooter, yeah, very healthy still. Oh, Ace Wooter might go down here. Mini <laughs> yeah, he's going to go down. <laughs> wow. No, so no, he's reloading. Mini Chun's reloading okay, now. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, but just honestly, like, They're very yeah, yeah. close, though. 50 hit points. Yeah. 50 hit points. Yep. Yeah, even Little Mac there about to go down as well. Yeah, uh, Little Mac goes down, down but so Minichun's still reloading, and Antares yep, at yep, full yep. hit points yep, here, yep. so Minichun's gonna go down. Yeah. Unless Onion Head just gets somehow. Oh, that ram just leaving <laughs> level. Okay, just, uh, yeah, this is <laughs> probably gonna go to PvP now. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's most. Yeah, definitely gonna go to PvP. Unless like a scooter goes down and Antair misses, you know, maybe like three shots. Antair is like, <laughs> he's, he's way too healthy and yeah, he's yeah. in a Pershing. So uh, yeah, there, there's, there's, uh, I don't reckon Onion Head can do it all like by himself. Yeah, I agree with you. But just very well played. Honestly, actually from both teams. I mean, you it know what? Like back the, and forth. Okay, the only hope is that uh, somehow Onion Head takes out uh, Ice Water oh, and then runs. And then runs. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. runs because he can still somehow outrun the Pershing yep. if he's yep. really, really lucky. Ace is going to be safe soon. That one's made fine this building. They are very well done because Antares is now covering for his might. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was actually kind of interesting because, yeah, Batman almost got immediately taken out over there to the east. Like, they'll try to do some scouting, and because you already had control of the hilltop, and even, I think they sent like two of their tanks to the east, Batman got trapped, so he got taken out, and you know, it was actually kind of lucky on, on PvP side. Well, I mean, UAD had to spread thin in order to pull that off. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. That's what cost and, and that's why I was going to say, uh, like, PvP a little bit lucky because once, like, they took down Batman, they were, that was actually when they were a little bit vulnerable. It's because, you know, they waste all their their shots and uh, they're still trying to reposition after that kill. And that's when, yeah, I think two of the other members of PvP were there to kind of uh, back up that kill and tie it up again. Onion Hand uh, here with just uh, 22 uh, seconds left. He's not going to pull it off. Yeah, Ice Water is just completely, completely undercover, and he's got Antares just uh, watching his back. So uh, yeah, there you go. Poor Sonya has been spotted there. Huge shot. They killed our driver. We're covering his position, but not very well. The engine is smoking. Enemy UAV spotted. Oh, he makes it behind. 